okay and welcome while we read about two suffragettes we're leading we're going to be reading about elizabeth c stanton and she was basically the primary leader of the suffragette movement and lucretia mott who was also an early suffragette leader and an idealist so elizabeth katie stanton was born in 1815 november 12th and died october 26 in 1902 Elizabeth Cady Stanton was active in the abolitionist, temperance, and women right, women's rights movement. Along with Susan B. Anthony, she founded the National Women's Suffrage Association, and it was she was its president for 20 years. She, along with Lucretia Mott, was instrumental in writing and creating uh, the Seneca Falls Convention in, in uh, July 1848. She authored the Declaration of Sentiments and Grievances. She traveled the country lecturing and giving speeches, particularly calling for women to have the right to vote, suffrage. Stanton was a wife. She was a mother of seven children, and she was a practicing lawyer. She was very proud to be all of those. Lucretia Mott was born in January 3rd, 1793. She died November 11th, 1880. Lucretia Mott was a noted abolitionist, religious reformer, and leader in the women's rights movement. She started as an abolitionist. However, when she was in England, she was not allowed into an abolitionist meeting simply because she was a woman. After that, uh, she joined Elizabeth Cady Stanton at the Seneca Falls Convention, which after this meant that her work centered on women's rights. How can I help free slaves if I myself, as a woman, can't participate in politics and can't even go into meetings because woman? She published her views in Discourse on Women. Uh, Mott had been a Quaker minister, so she preached uh, and later formed the Free Religious Association in Boston in 1867. She's also credited as being the creator, founder of Swarthmore College. And she was a wife and she had six children. So I hope you're learning and I hope you're having fun.